Hey everybody, it's Macro Geek. Um, got some people asking questions from my um, Android 9 on the RG552 video and wanted to give a brief overview of how you go about flashing that custom Android image onto here. So um, I'm not going to actually flash my device, but I'll talk you through the steps. So first thing you're going to need is an RG552. You're going to need a USB A to C cable. I've tried using a C to C and it doesn't always work. And I've had different cables like this one from my JBL headphones will never work. I don't know why. It seems to be a charge only type thing. I'm using this short A to C. So you need that. You need to join Black Seraph's Patreon account and fund at the $10 level it gets you beta releases. And the there's a second level that's I think five a month that will get you just the full releases when they're done. Um, final builds so you can cancel that at any time so if you see that there's a major release you think is stable enough for what you want pay in for that month and shut it off when you're done or keep it going to support uh, Black Seraph anyway you'll go to a post and here are the files mask ROM files are the ones that you would feed over from your computer in mask ROM mode TWRP files are ones you would use TWRP recovery once you have it installed on the 552 to install so generally, your first time through, you're going to end your major releases. You're going to need to do the mask ROM thing. Um, also, anything that futzes with the bootloader, like the overclock, needs to go in for mask ROM because it's going to replace the bootloader. So we download those files. Now I've got a little folder started, and you're going to end up with these 7Z files. Those are for 7-zip. You need to have 7-zip installed. Then you can select those three files. And if you have the shell integration on, you can 7-zip extract here, or you can launch the 7-zip GUI and select the files. But when you extract them, you will get a folder like this. It'll merge those three files into one folder. Next thing to do, and this is not covered, there is a readme. Let me bring it over here. There's a readme that's super helpful, um, but it is missing a couple steps. First is you need to install the drivers. So go up here in the driver folder, run this driver install.exe, it's going to ask for admin permission and then you can hit install driver. Now, if I hit it, it's going to fail because I already have it installed, but hit that, wait a minute. And then if you boot your device into mask ROM mode, it should show up in your device manager. So you can see right now, nothing in here, but when I boot in recovery mode or in uh, mask ROM mode, what you're going to do is USB-C into this, this port here not this one this is the one for power and then we're going to do the secret handshake and that is volume up function hold those two and then you're going to touch power until you hear the fans and then you can let go of power and let go of them all right so if you were watching see this class for rock chip devices that just appeared up here i'm now connected via mask rom mode so if I go into this tool down here and use the install.bat file, it'll launch a admin prompt and say, you're really sure you want to do this? I can do that. Oop. Do you want to allow this to make changes? And then it's going to start, Oop, I want to close it. It's going to start writing stuff to your device and it will take, Android 8 took maybe 15 minutes when I did the whole thing. Android 9 took like 45 minutes and I had to sit here and keep hitting continue. You're going to get various prompts and you just have to keep hitting yes because each one runs a separate little bat file. And when you're done, your device should reboot into Android 8, 1, or 9, whichever build you did. So I'm going to unhook this. I'm going to reboot. I'm assuming I didn't just damage anything. If you were doing it the first time, you would get a circle here that says erasing, and it would be wiping the device and setting up the new version of Android. Mine should just boot into, there we go, straight into the new Android uh, interface. So the first time you launch, you're not going to have Play Store support because Black Seraf doesn't have the Play apps on his build. What you can do, though, is download them, and you need the Open G apps 
are in these posts, if you hit continue reading, open G apps, and then you're going to want ARM64 for whatever version of Android you're installing, so like 9, and you want the Pico version, which is just basically the Play Store and the back end uh, services to run that. You download that image and get it onto your device. Um, I usually load it onto my SD card and then use the files tool. And so, oh, shush, shush, shush. Got some achievements, I guess. My volume's way up. Turn that down. And then I would go over here to disk. And I have a folder I call sideload that I put those files in. There's open G apps. And then you can do, uh, um, you select it. Oop, that was wrong. Select it and then you can do a copy to and move it to your downloads folder or something on the main memory. But once you've got it into the main memory, you know, power off. And then we're going to boot into TWRP. So we're going to hold function and do power. Function and power, come on. Keep holding the function. Now we're in TWRP, which installed with the Android ROM. And we're gonna go install. And then you're gonna navigate in your folders to your download folder and click on the G apps. And then you're gonna say, swipe to confirm flash and it's gonna install them. And then when you're done, it will give you the option to either reboot or wipe your Davlet cache. You want to wipe that cache when you're done. That does some cleanup before you reboot. Then swipe to reboot. And I'm just going to go ahead and restart. And you don't need to do anything on mine. And when you boot up again, you will have the G apps and you can click on the Play Store, log in your Google account, make sure you're connected to Wi Fi, and um, then you'll be able to send stuff to your phone via the Play Store on the web or by navigating the Play Store on the device. And then it's just loading your emulators and uh, setting things up. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm a little more visual, so the README file is great, but sometimes seeing somebody talk you through it really helps. Um, hope that helps you. And if you are enjoying the content I'm making, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.